Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We're going to continue with the IB past papers uh, questions. Topic to mechanic. We've reached question seven. Let's read the question and then we'll do it together. Question seven, part A says, draw a free body diagram for the sledge at the position shown on the snow slope. Okay, so to draw a free body diagram, it means I need to draw all the forces acting on my object. My object here is the sledge with the girl, with the girl on top of the sledge. So here we have the inclined surface. I can draw my object as square or as a circle and then I have to specify all the forces acting on this object. So I have the weight of the sledge and the girl. So this is Fg for both the slit plus the girl. And I have a normal force and this normal force is perpendicular to the surface. This is the surface. So I have a normal force or the reactant force Fn. If the direction of motion is in this direction, opposite to the direction of motion will be always the friction. So I have a friction force here in this direction. I can break down also these forces, the uh, weight into two component, vertical and horizontal component. Vertical component, it's same as the surface, in the same direction as the surface. And horizontal component, perpendicular to the surface. Or X, you can call it X and, and Y. X is the vertical. Y is the Sorry, X is the horizontal component and Y is the vertical component. So this is the horizontal and this is vertical. So I can break this down to, this is the angle theta. This angle is always the same as this angle. So this will be FG. This angle is adjacent, so it will be cosine theta and this side it will be the opposite, so it will be sine Fg sine theta. Right. Part B. After leaving the snow slope, <clears throat> the girl on the sledge moves over a horizontal region of snow. Explain with reference to the physical origin of the forces, why the vertical forces on the girl must be in equilibrium as she moves over the horizontal region. This is from Newton's first law because the girl slides on the horizontal direction. There is no motion in the vertical sides. So from Newton first law, since I have no motion, summation of motion in the vertical direction or in Y, direction, in y direction, summation of, more of forces acting on the sledge and the gear will equal zero. So what are the forces here? I have Fn on the, to the top and the component of the weight down, downward. So Fn will equal Fg cosine theta because I don't have any acceleration, no acceleration. Acceleration is zero for Newton first law. So they are in equilibrium. See now, when the sledge is moving in a horizontal region of the snow, the girl jumps off the sledge. The girl has 
no horizontal forces velocity after the jump. No horizontal forces, which means the velocity of the girl after she jumped off the sled is zero. Okay? So zero. The velocity of the sledge immediately after the girl jumps off is 4.2. This is the velocity of the sledge, the slide, the sled, sorry. The mass of the girl is 55. The mass of the sledge is 5.5. Calculate the speed of the sledge immediately before the girl jump off. And this we can use in conservation, the conservation of momentum to use this question. So I can make a table, write everything I know in this table. I have two objects. The first object here is the sled. My second object, the girl. I have M1 for the sled, V1, and P1 for the girl, M2, V2 and P2, initial and final. Okay, so the mass of the slit, it's five, 0.5 initial and final doesn't change kilogram I don't need to convert all the units are consistent it's a unit the velocity girl the girl was on the sled at the beginning the initial so both of them they were moving with the same velocity V mass of the girl the mass of the girl is 55 initial and final mass is constant doesn't change now after after the girl jumped off the sled, the velocity of the sled becomes 4.2, and the girl has no velocity after she jumped, so her velocity is zero. Now I can find the momentum. Momentum, just multiply mass times velocity. Momentum is m times v. So here I will have 5.5 times v. Let's do it with different color. Okay, so 5.5 V, and here 55 V. 5.5 times 4.2 uh, to give me 23.1, and here 0. I can use the conservation of momentum P initial equal P final, or before equal after. Now add the values of the momentum. Okay, so initial momentum is, I have 5.5 V plus 55 V will equal 23.1 plus 0. Okay, I can take V as a common factor outside and find the value of V. You should get 0.38 meter per second. Okay, now the other question or uh, part D of the question, same question seven. The girl chooses to jump so that she lands on a loosey backed snow rather than frozen ice. Okay, this also related, you remember the example, the question of the egg, when the egg uh, uh, fall down on mattress, uh, it's bitter, it won't crack. If it fall on the ground, it will be, it will be cracked. Same concept. So from the conservation of momentum or Newton's second law, force equal change in momentum divided by change in time. Okay. So in case of the backed snow imparted on the girl instead of happening instantaneously, it will be delivered over the entire duration of the girl's contact with the snow. Therefore, F will be smaller. So in other words, a time taken to stop will be greater with the snow therefore the force will be what will be smaller the relationship between f 
force and time are inversely proportional. If this time great or large, the force will be smaller. Now, same question E. Uh, the sledge now without the girls on it travels up. Now, the sledge travels up the snow. Okay? That makes an angle 6.5 with the horizontal. The speed of the sledge is the same, 4.2. And I have a coefficient of dynamic friction. This is a mu k. I need to prove the acceleration of this ridge is negative 2 meter per second. I'm going to do this question here. So here we have, this is the inclined surface. And here, this is the object. The sledge the weight of the sledge is mass times acceleration, mass 5.5. The gravity is 10, so it will give me 55 Newton. Perpendicular to the surface, I have a normal force. Direction of motion is upward, so this is the acceleration. Opposite to the direction of motion will be the friction. So the type of friction here I have kinetic friction. And this is the angle theta. The component of this forces I have Fg. This angle is the same as this one. So this is Fg cosine angle theta. And here I have Fg sine the angle theta. So if I choose this one x direction or the vertical direction and this one y direction, so to solve it, I can make the table. I can write the horizontal component and the vertical component. Yeah. Let's take it up here. Horizontal component, I have motion in the horizontal component. I have acceleration, so I can use a Newton's second law. Summation of motion in the horizontal direction will equal mass times acceleration. Direction of motion opposite to the acceleration will be negative. Same if the forces are in the same direction of acceleration, so it will be what? Positive. Now I have two forces down. I have Fk down, and I have the component force of the gravity down, so both of them are negative. So I have negative Fg cosine the angle theta minus Fk. This will equal mass times acceleration. In the y direction, I don't have motion in y direction, so summation of forces in y direction will equal zero. That means all the forces up equal all the forces down. I have equilibrium. So the forces up, I have a normal force, will equal all the forces down. I have Fg cosine the angle theta. So let's calculate this one. Fg is 55 cosine 6.5, and this will give me 54.64. Newton. Now let's calculate here in x direction. I have Fg, which minus 55 cosine 6.5 minus. How can I find Fk? Fk always is a mu k coefficient of kinematic uh, friction times a normal force. So Fk, Fk was 0.11 times 54.64, and this will equal mass times acceleration, mass 5.5, acceleration is A. Uh, from here, we can continue here, acceleration will give you, if I solve this one, so it will give you negative 2.2, which always equal negative 2 meter per second square. 
we're going to continue uh, the, the rest of the question, inshallah, in the next video.